In about 212 days, Uganda will field a team at the Commonwealth Games to be hosted in Birmingham, England. For these particular games, jurisdiction is under Commonwealth Games Association Uganda, whose president, Donald Rukare, offers insight. So for Commonwealth Games, there are some sports, swimming, as I said, cycling, which are open slots. Those are about 40. And then there are those that have to qualify. Netball, rugby, athletics has a bit of that, uh, hockey. So those ones are in the qualification slide. Uh, basketball, three on three. So those ones have to qualify. So we are thinking and we are projecting that as of now, we know that there are certain sports courts that have the slots. They are going to have to give us the names by January, hopefully. So swimming, those athletics. But those that are yet I think netball so far has qualified, our knowledge. Rugby is almost, I think, on the cusp of qualifying. Three on three basketball, I think they're out. We are also hoping to have cricket, but they're out. They, are, they told us that they're out. They, they have not demand on that project. I talked to John Trust yesterday. So that's how it works. So we shall get to know better when uh, the different qualification time is close, and then the Federation will give us also their names. But remember also there's going to have to be a delicate negotiation between how many people do we take. In the previous games for Gold Coast, we decided to take more people from athletics, 13 or 21, and then we gave the others like 222. Over the years, Uganda has won 53 medals at the Commonwealth Games, with the latest outing in 2018 yielding six medals, including Joshua Cheptegei's double gold. At a news conference hosted at the Commonwealth Games Association Uganda head office in Lugogo, the biggest question was whether boxing, which has been one of the best performers at the Games, will be part. There have been meetings with most federations to provide uh, for boxing as soon as uh, governance issues provide the, informa the information needed, uh, they will also be informed to provide. Uh, the requirements, or they will get the requirements to submit the list of athletes to take part. For now, uh, we can only say that uh, most most sports courts are in the qualification process. But for all preparations in terms of training and qualification pathways to be met, government's involvement is a must. We are sure in all our athletes that we shall do everything possible as we look forward for the Commonwealth Games in 2022 in the Birmingham, England, to lay a very strong foundation to support their qualifiers, which may end, may conclude by April, because the final list will come by April, first week of April. We want to put priorities of whole funding coming now in the third quarter to those events, but it's nature to us is a priority. At the last games in the Gold Coast, Uganda sent 69 athletes in 11 disciplines, but targets bigger numbers this time round. John Burns sent them reporting.